Some new video surfaces of Keemstar just a couple years ago appearing to go after sponsors. A gaming team called Soar. Hi, I'm Tommy C. in this shop for the Point News. I don't know if we've been living under a rock, but H3 and Keemstar, they had like this big drama going on. It's a big video. It's, it's so much so that Keemstar... Uh, initially, we thought that he actually lost his sponsorship with G Fuel, um, but um, he claimed in a video where he responded to H3 about, um, well, he responded to H3 uh, saying that he left G Fuel or, or had some kind of break so they could get the pressure off of them. H3 used G Fuel pretty prominently in the video, mentioned him upwards of five or six times. Uh, it did clearly look like um, uh, H3 was encouraging his fan base to um, go after Keem's sponsors, and they responded. They responded uh, so much so uh, that the on, on H3's Reddit, it looks like they may be going after Spotify and other sponsors going forward, not to mention people that were actually in some of Keemstar's gaming tournaments. Now, here's the thing. The video on Keem was very effective. Uh, I mean, like most videos, it was cherry picked to a certain extent. There was legitimate stuff in there. Some of that stuff work that was done by Shaf on the Point own Nick Diorio. But the real problem people are having with it is, of course, the sponsors issue and the Etika issue. Etika, of course, passed away. Um, you know, he, he, he took his life about 11 months ago. And he had an interview with Keemstar just before that. And I think it's safe to say that, well... Um, H3 did sort of lay Etika's death on Keem's doorstep. I think that's that's very, very, very fair to say. That was a bulk of the video. Again, there are in this. There's things in this video that I truly think needed to be exposed. And there's the sponsors issue, which you know probably affects me the most and most YouTubers, where we now we have a new norm. Because it's, you know, H3's got a big bullhorn. And maybe he has set a precedent to go after sponsors in the future. I think that was probably inevitable. Inevitable, excuse me. But more than likely, H3 managed to kick it off and kick it off with style. So some of the backlash that H3 got was, you know, hey, you just, you know, you, you, you really did content nuke. Keemstar, and now we're feeling the, you know, you, you, you took a, you used a nuke to take out one man, and now the rest of YouTube is going to f um, feel those reverberations. Now, content, comment cop, <laughs> who I do see in my streams a lot, uh, I, I give the guy a lot of credit. Uh, he's always looking for both angles. He finds stuff all the time. I recommend you sub his channel. Uh, he found a mm, maybe a problem with Keemstar's story, and I I definitely think you know it's 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 more hypocrisy by Keemstar. Uh, what I'm about to show you is you know in Keem's response video, he says, "Hey, look, you've done something that nobody else has done before." Well, apparently Keem just a couple years ago kind of went after the um, the gaming team uh, or the esports conglomerate Soar by showing a bunch of nasty, unacceptable tweets uh, by Soar and kind of encouraging sponsors to look the other way. Keem's association with FaZe is well known for years now. So I'm gonna play you some comment cops video. If so you get the jive, uh, the jive, the jib of it. And we'll be talking about it later on Shop on the Point Live, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right on this channel. And uh, we're gonna we'll, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get there. And another thing you did in this video is an absolute first for YouTube. You went after my sponsors. You went after my sponsors. Today we're going to be looking at Soar Gaming. Now Soar Gaming is a channel here with 618,000 subscribers. Many of these teams are big. They have lots of sponsors and at the same time they're being racist, homophobic, and trying to convince other children to kill themselves. That's right, encouraging suicide. Like, this has never happened before, but it's happening now. And they are sponsored by Elgato, Loot Crate, Scuff Controllers, and Cyber Power PC. You have ushered in this new era where people that have beefs on each other 
go after their sponsors. And now let's look at some of the activity of the SOAR members. We have SOAR Sheen. I hope you get cancer. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's funny. Now, clearly, Keem has gone after sponsors in the past. And that is probably his biggest weapon against H3, uh, saying it's never uh, been done before. To some extent, that's um, not true. But it, if you look back, and I guess this is 2015, the East, the East celebrity is not as common or not as well known. YouTube is not what it is. It's, it's, it's basically, it's, it's nowhere near what it is today. Uh, you know, being in the East celebrity in two, 2015 was like, there's celebrities on, what are you talking about? Being an East celebrity, to, I mean, now everybody knows who Logan Paul is. It, it was a completely different world. And I think while Comment Cop shows Keem's hypocrisy, I don't think that Keem's above going after sponsors. Just recently, he went after sponsors in the sense where he goes after an AdSense of a, a creator called J Station. Now, he kind of got away with that and nobody cared because J Station was so reviled in the community and the community felt that he was, uh, you know, kind of um, projecting. Uh, fake content or telling kids that there was such thing as ghosts. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole story. Um, and that's what justified that, that Jay had a child audience. He deserved to be canceled. And lo and behold, YouTube took his AdSense away. So in a sense, Keem did sort of lay the groundwork, not so much with this example, but with the Jay Station example. It was a, he, he led a charge, he led an action, and a creator uh, ads were taken away. Um, now, that's AdSense itself. Uh, we're, we are talking about individual sponsors now. These individual sponsors are a lot more common, opposed to Adpocalypse. But I, I'm going to tell you why it probably doesn't matter optics-wise. See, H3 did it when he had a mega megaphone. A, 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 and and it, he did it in a memorable way. Keem wasn't as famous when he did this to Soar as uh, H3 was when he brought up G Fuel in his co his content nuke video. So no matter what, who had done this prior, it's always going to really land on H3. H3 megaphoned it. He 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 put it out there for everybody to see, and now it looks like. Uh, this may be the groundwork for, for more to come. Uh, YouTube, very influential YouTube com commentators like uh, some ordinary gamers and critical have spoke out against this tactic. They feel very much like I do. Like I, I, every, H3 had every right to strike, but he struck so hard, you know, it, it's, it's, gonna, it's more than likely going to clip everybody. And yeah, you could, you could bring up the J Station stuff with Keem. You could bring up the uh, you could bring up the uh, stuff with soar, um, you know, half a decade ago, but it wasn't that mainstream. Does that make him any less of a hypocrite? No. Uh, does, is this a legitimate thing to bring up if Keem gets on his bandwagon and says, you know, um, uh, if Keem gets on his bandwagon and says, uh, you, 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 you terrible beast, you went after my sponsors. Well, so did you, and so would, so did you recently and five years ago, and you would really have no problem doing that again if you thought you'd get away with it. So yeah, that's, it doesn't make it any less of a good argument. Uh, but the, the problem is H3 is always going to wear this because of the size of this Keemstar exposed video. It's every bit as big as the leafy exposed video on Keem. And um, the the um, yeah, and, and really during that whole 2016 time, any of those exposed videos that he this 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 is a this really is a nuke. It was so apropos. Uh, so, but in in that launching that nuke, you know, H3 is going to take some radi radiation too, um, and that's really going to always be tied to him, whether Keemstar is a hypocrite or not. You know, one of the disadvantages you have you when you go up against Keemstar is he's considered the bad guy already. H3 paints himself as a good guy. You can't throw shit on a shit pile. Well, you can, but it's still a shit pile. But if you're clean and you get some of that stuff on you, it, it changes things for you. It doesn't change anything for the shit pile. So really, that's 
that's pretty much it. That's my opinion on this. I don't think it's going to stick. I think it's a perfectly reasonable topic to bring up. I think content cop, comment cop, excuse me, did a remarkable job as he always does in pointing out people's hypocrisies and inconsistencies and what have you. But I just don't think this sticks. I don't. I don't. It, it's it's a good argument. It prevents Keem from s sort of saying, uh, you know, uh, going after sponsors, the worst thing ever. Well, you went after Jay Station sponsors because you didn't like him. Uh, you went after uh, source sponsors and you have a relationship with FaZe. So, yeah, that's 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 kind of a problem. But in the end, um, Keem's going to win because he's a lovable bad guy and H3 portrays himself as the pure guy. And when the pure guy starts to show the cracks, well, you know, the rest is history. Um, I, I think this is going to have serious reverberations because I, I, I'll be honest with you, you can make the argument that the J station thing, it, or we're feeling the reverberations of that now. Okay. But, um, I don't think anything's going to have a, a, as big an impact as this. I think the floor plan has been laid. Now you might be asking yourself, you did this just a couple days ago. You suggested this when it came to Alex and his friends and going after his friend sponsor. And I absolutely did. And I'm ashamed for doing it. I, I think it was stupid. I'm glad before I started to leave some, uh, lead a charge, as you can check out right here, that I kind of got a hold of myself. And guess who came to me to tell me to get a hold of myself and told me not to go after the James Marriott and Mimi Lee sponsors the world. It was Keemstar. He DM'd me. I was wrong, 100% wrong. Did a whole podcast why I was wrong and why it was not a good idea. Why was it? Because of this. This is this is bad for everybody. I don't care how much you hate Keemstar. I, I don't want, you know, because it's it's being used against Keemstar Star for a so-called legit reason. Well, you know what? Uh, if you just go back to match what it is, you probably really kick this shit off. Um, if you just go back to, to that, I mean, Everybody thinks they have a legit reason. You know, you could justify going after somebody's sponsors for, for saying uh, a curse word. You know, because their content's for kids. You could literally justify it for anything, and that is the problem. And the one who's going to be remembered for doing this, even though he was not the first one, is H3H3.